Hello, I'm Ricky Spencer from Western Sydney University. I represent the One Million Turtles uh, program, which is a national uh, citizen science program funded by DICER earlier this year. The simple act of moving a turtle off the road is one of the most profound and impactful conservation actions for any species in the world. Turtles live for over 100 years and can produce eggs every year. So people are concerned for this helpless individual turtle but this one small action is potentially saving thousands of turtles over her lifetime. But this image raises a lot of issues. Um, this is potentially dangerous. What if this was a major highway? How do we stop turtles going onto the road in the first place? How do I pick up a turtle? Will it bite me? And what do I do with it anyway? Um, and the usual questions, what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? All valid questions, all quite difficult to answer without the right information. But this caring action by this individual will make an impact and it will make an Im impact to help reduce um, biodiversity extinctions um, that we're currently seeing in the seventh mass extinction event uh, th throughout the world. So turtles are declining um, and the decline was actually predicted 40 years ago. They live a long time, but we're actually now seeing um, and we're now living in the age of turtle extinctions. Beside roadkill, introduced foxes destroy 95 to 100% of nests each year, meaning that the declines uh, and extinction events that we are seeing are now a result of extreme ageing of populations with little or no recruitment. We're also seeing population extinction events as a result of water quality, cli uh, climate change and disease. Um, and you can see from these photos uh, up in the top right, Water quantity, water quality in the Murray declined so much during the millennium drought that pa parasitic uh, marine tube worms cake the shells of tens of thousands of freshwater uh, short necks um, uh, less than a decade ago. And in 2015, an extinction event occurred on the mid north coast of New South Wales where a novel virus wiped out the Bellinger snapping turtle to a point where the species is relying on 20 odd captive turtles in a breeding program for survival. So the problem is extensive and multifaceted. The solutions um, are not easy either. Uh, we can't simply eliminate foxes and we can't simply put more water down the Murray uh, Darling system, although we probably could if we really wanted to. So in 2015, we started a small citizen science project called TurtleSat turtle survey and analysis tools. Essentially, it was mapping where people saw turtles and nests, which would actually help us identify road mortality uh, hotspots, where turtles were nesting. So we can start uh, doing something about their nest locations and, and nesting beaches, nest predation rates, and was an early indicator of potential disease um, in these systems. Why it works is that the data are actually very, very easy for people to collect. Through a mobile website or an app, we can utilise that computer, GPS and camera that everyone's carrying on them uh, pretty much every day of the week, their mobile phones. The other thing is that everyone knows what a turtle looks like and they're very obvious when people actually see them. So we also found out that the media love to do um, our stories on turtles. So it wasn't actually hard to promote turtle sat whenever we needed to. And most importantly, though, was connecting with community groups and local champions in the region. Their expertise in, uh, the, in their local area, as well as the different species, drove data collection. And we could even train up groups to go beyond nat simple natural history sightings to do, uh, do a deeper dive into the science and community conservation. A lot has changed in the six years since TurtleSat was launched, but at the time, it was doing some pretty cool, innovative, still is, um, some really cool, innovative things. Um, we could focus the data collection to species present based on their location. Um, there are over 30 species of turtles in Australia and users would automatically be shown the species in their area um, and able to find out, and most importantly here, able to find out more information about them. Um, and people can actually upload their photos, aiding us to validate their data, which is a really important aspect of, of citizen science. Uh, the impact of TurtleSat was instantaneous. So the first nesting season uh, that it was launched, um, 
brought in more than 2,000 sightings and not just sightings of, of, of turtles, but impacts of predators, impacts of road, road mortality, for example. And you can see something that we hadn't really accounted for up in the top left-hand corner, the circle, there where you see all the orange dots, they're all the depredated nests, which we expected, that identifies where the nesting sites are. Um, and they were depredated by foxes. But what it also showed here that we didn't predict was the amount of turtles that were actually intercepted by foxes and killed by foxes. And these are nesting females coming out to nest and being killed by foxes. But as you can see, lots of photos, lots of sightings of, of roadkill, uh, and we started to put a national picture of the extent of these impacts um, uh, throughout Australia, which uh, has been very helpful. And it's allowed communities to actually drive their own community action uh, as well. So the impact of turtle set has actually been quite profound for us. Um, uh, as researchers, we've been able to look at broad scale uh, factors such as road mortality and being able to help communities to actually address uh, road mortality hotspots. Hundreds of turtle sign, turtle crossing signs have actually gone up and that's been driven by uh, the community. Um, we're also working with Transport for New South Wales now, as you'll see a little bit later in terms of um, uh, uh, our ability to redesign roads, change roads, actually put uh, road mitigation strategies as well as uh, technology to actually help reduce, re, uh, reduce road kill. Um, it's also helped us understand broad scale nesting habitats. The beauty of that is that we can actually now understand where the hotspots are. We can predict where we should be looking. We can actually give communities that, you know, in terms of the types of habitat in there, even if we haven't uh, got sightings, but help communities target areas where we can see, see nesting. And the other thing is that we can target our resources such as uh, fences, those kind of things that communities can actually actually do. But what we found, you see on the right hand side of is probably the most profound thing is that how TurtleSat allowed, uh, allowed communities, allowed individuals to actually become more connected. Um, they, and also change their views and change their uh, motivations and what they do at home as well. So, and that's been most profound. And probably probably the most profound thing that we've seen is that communities want, a bit, want more. They actually want to be involved. They want to drive and actually be deeply involved in um, community conservation. And that's why we've launched the One Million Turtles Project. Turtles program goes beyond turtle set. 
TurtleSat is certainly a major tool and it's the tool that we'll be focusing around Turtle Month, which is November every year. Uh, it's the time of year, particularly in Southern Australia um, and throughout most of Australia, where most turtles actually nest uh, in that sort of uh, mid to late spring time. So we've dubbed it Turtle Month and you'll, in the next few days, you'll actually start hearing a lot about Turtle Month. Turtles program is a citizen science program where communities actually become deeply involved in citizen science around biodiversity, around turtles, but actually extend into community conservation and drive their own community conservation project. So the One Million Turtles program is essentially training citizens to become community uh, conservationists. At the heart of it is TurtleSat. Obviously, that's the entry point. This is the, the essentially the natural history sightings. Where do they see turtles? When do they see turtles? How do they, and why are they seeing turtles? That's the education point of. And we're leading, heading right into the launch of Turtle Month, which is November every year, where most turtles are actually starting to come out and nest. A lot of people don't even know that turtles spend most of the time in the water and come out to, you know, climb a hill, climb up the banks, look for a, uh, a place to nest and drop their eggs and then head back to the water and you know, return again next year. Um, and most of the time people are seeing turtles is when they're actually coming out to nest. So that's where most people actually see them, see them on roads. We want to train people to actually, uh, one, record their sightings and then also understand what to do when they see a turtle. In collaboration with the Australian Reptile Park and Aussie Ark, we're creating a really innovative and interactive um, citizen science training hub where people will come and actually experience and seek the conservation uh, in action in these unique state-of-the-art turtle ponds. And they'll actually learn how to use TurtleSat and actually record their sightings, record uh, turtle activity and walk out of the Australian Reptile Park as citizen scientists, as part of the One Million Turtles project. The National Nest Predation Survey will extend uh, citizen scientists into actual experimentation. This is a really simple experiment where we can get some really great information about nest predation rates um, by simply putting out chicken eggs and burying them and monitoring them. Um, we've been doing this for a long, long time in our research and they're really good surrogate. Uh, this kind of activity is a really good uh, surrogate for actual nest predation rates on turtle nests. Um, but this is beyond simple sightings, simple natural history. This is teaching citizen scientists to actually um, become uh, a, a, a true scientists and delving into experimentation. We're also going to launch a Turtles in the Schools program, which teams up with the National Aquarium's uh, researchers at the National Aquarium's ter Terrapins in the Classroom program in North America. We're going to extend this to actually provide real training and real accreditation through digital badges for year five, year six students that will really integrate uh, with this program, have turtles in the classroom and be directly involved uh, with community conservation um, and hopefully sending them on the pathway to environmental and conservation careers. We're also going to be launching lots and lots of on-ground initiatives in community, community conservation. Um, from simple nest protection, like training communities, hundreds of communities and you know, hopefully thousands of people how to make up nest protector kits and use them um, uh, out in the field. Uh, to design a nesting beaches around their local uh, wetlands. But also, as you can see in the uh, furthest most photo on the right here is the Lord Mayor of, of Blue Mountains Council launching one of our turtle islands, which we hope to extend uh, throughout the country over, over coming years, where communities actually build them and uh, uh, really become stakeholders in the project. One of the newest initiatives that we're trialling right at the moment is the fa fauna road management system. This is in conjunction with Transport for New South Wales. The idea here, and you can see on the video uh, as it's being played, is that using artificial intelligence and connecting with dash cams or an app, um, it'll automatically pick up turtles on the road, which is really important for identifying hotspots um, obviously road kill hotspots, but also in real time, actively feed that to road crews that potentially could uh, move turtles across the road. Obviously programs like this don't exist without good partnerships, collaborations and funding. You can find us at onemillionturtles.com as well as find One Million Turtles and TurtleSat on Facebook.